architectural engineering is the design of buildings, but on the engineering side. So instead of you know everything that you actually see in a building, it's more things that are hidden behind the walls. You know things that make a building function, but are kind of invisible to the common person. We draw things on a sheet of paper, and somebody goes out and builds based on that. But we don't necessarily put in every single little detail. You know every single turn that happens on a piece of pipe. You know we don't detail all that information. We let the contractor go out and go, okay, I'm gonna have to put in an extra turn here in order to not run into this because you know somebody else put in a small piece of steel here. And so with the fire protection, because it's so involved with life safety, you actually have to calculate every single elbow and every single bend, every single piece of pipe. So you know during the design, we may have 16 elbows out in the field, they may have 28. And so it's just easier for the contractor who's installing it to actually do the calcs once they've actually laid it out as they're going to build it. AE is a very specialized field. It's a very small and tight-knit community. Um, you know, you get into this field and you think that, you know, it's so big. And then after a few years, you're like, I feel like I've been talking to the same people for the last 10 years. <laughs> and it really is. It's a really, really small industry. And so actually the RQ program back when I went into college, there were only 12 accredited programs in the entire country. So, you know, you look at the number of universities that exist out there and there's 12. So it's, it's pretty specialized if you want to do this industry. The firm that I'm at currently is actual MEP engineering, mechanical electrical plumbing. Um, we're not, doing any architecture, we don't do construction, um, which is a misconception. A lot of times you talk to somebody who says, you know, I worked on, you know, the Wilshire Grand. They're like, so are you out on the field building the thing? I'm like, no, I'm not out there. <laughs> I sat in the office, you know, drew some things on a piece of paper on a computer and I sent out the door. Um, I can show up on site to look at things every once in a while, make sure it's going up all right, and then <laughs> that's about it. In, in the industry, for the most part, you're gonna be doing one discipline or the other. So you're either gonna do be doing mechanical, electrical, or plumbing. Um, the project schedules just don't allow you, for the most part, to do all of them. So you're gonna be assigned as the mechanical engineer for this project, as the electrical, or as the plumbing. And for the most part, most people do one of the three as kind of their career. So. The three primary disciplines, um, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So we just call them MEP. Um, sometimes people call it MEPFP for fire protection because fire protection is a little bit of a specialty. Um, and that's what our firm does. Usually the structural engineering firm is a separate firm and then the architecture firm is a separate firm. Um, there are some larger firms that actually combine all kind of three major categories into one large group. Um, that was the firm that I was with when I was in Chicago doing a lot of international projects. They're one of those where they have architecture, landscaping, structural engineers, MEP engineers, just kind of all under one you know, roof. Mechanical is mainly dealing with the air conditioning systems in a building, when you're talking about the building side. Um, so, you know, heaters, um, air conditioners, those kind of things, radiant ceilings. Um, the electrical guys are dealing with line power so they're t dealing with receptacles, they're powering lights, they're powering all the mechanical equipment, they're powering, you know, plumbing equipment. And the plumbing guys are dealing with, you know, restrooms, those kind of things, storm drains. Uh, usually I tell people that I'm an architectural engineer, actually. And the initial thing that everybody says is, so you're an architect. Um, well, not really. <laughs> so I I'm an engineer, I just deal with buildings. And so that's kind of the difference. And most people don't realize that. I think most people also think that, you know, when you say you're an architect or you're an architectural engineer, they assume that you're out on construction construction site all the time. And that's not really the case either. You know, I go out on site, you know, once every couple of months maybe, uh, just kind of see how things are going usually or to do a survey for a project that we're about to start. But I'm not really out in the field on a job site all that often. They have construction managers and things like that for that. A lot of times people think that engineers are just sitting behind the desk, kind of minding their own business, you know, head to the ground, um, just kind of crunching out numbers. Um, 
in this industry and in other industries. You know, a lot of things that you work on in the engineering field are so large and beyond just one person that you have to interact with others. And so, you know, there are very few times when you're in a situation where you're a mechanical engineer and all you're dealing is, you know, maybe, well, if, if you work for like, maybe like a SpaceX or Boeing, you could spend your entire career engineering one bolt <laughs> and you may not deal with that many people. <laughs> But uh, aside from that, for the most part, you're going to have to interact with other people, whether you like it or not. <laughs> the key to being a very successful engineer is actually being able to interact with people because most engineers, you know, like the stereotype is somebody who's kind of secluded, who doesn't really get out and talk to people. And so you have a lot of those. And they're just sitting in the office and they're just churning out numbers. But you know, if you're able to actually talk to people, interact with people, kind of get along with them, um, that's where you're going to be successful, at least in this industry. Because in this industry, you're always coordinating with architects, you're coordinating with structural engineers, you're coordinating with electrical engineers. I personally do mechanical, so I coordinate with electrical guys, plumbing guys, fire protection, fire alarm, <laughs> you know, security, anything that you can think of inside a building. You have to you know kind of coordinate with so. There's a lot of different people involved just to build one little tiny structure.